All right, then, guys. Today we're gonna to be doing a new Ponoboda KR challenge, and the Ponoboda KR challenge that we're gonna be doing today is uh, is gonna be called Mistake. And we're giving if we a list like I did beforehand, and I already SSH in. It tells you the steps right here. That's SSH in, but uh, we're giving four files: flag, mistake, mistake.c, and password. And the only one that we have access to or we're able to view it is mistake.c, which is the source code. So let's take a look. So this is the mistake.c source code, which is pretty cool and all. What we could do is just copy this right here and put it into a C++ compiler. I could probably do it from my terminal, but I'm just too lazy. Compiler. And I, just, I literally look, look, look at this and then like actually make it look nice for my eyes or something like that. So we just copy and paste it right here. So, oh, this is probably not gonna work, but um, it's just to, to make it look nice for my eyes. I don't know if I can hide this. I don't think I can hide this, but anyway. Oh no, I don't think this makes it worse. Either way. Anyway, I tried doing something. I guess I'm not that good. So anyway, for this challenge, we're giving this. So let's look at the, like, the hint that we're given is operator priority. Now, if you guys don't know, operator priority is just basically if you could think of it like PEMDAS and math, you know how the operators and PEMDAS are supposed to go in order, like or like the operators, like like parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, subtraction. That's like the whole thing with PEMDAS. In this case, there's a similar thing with it with a C code, or I think with code in general. When you're writing code, there's an operation of priority. And if you guys didn't know, like the operation priority that's happening here. Is basically in this in this file right here this is what the operation priority is happening right here and the error that's going on is this open so with open if you guys don't know what open does we can just look at it quickly right here open and C which I've already googled before when I was trying to solve this challenge so open that C would is gonna Call an open file specific by a file path name. If the file does not exist, it will create it. But in our case, this file home, this file located at home mistake, and uh, called password does exist. So, if a file does exist with open, it returns back a it returns back a, a positive integer. So if we go right here, open open path flag blah blah blah. Uh, so returns a file descriptor used. So in our case, since this file exists, if a file exists, that means it's gonna be one or an integer or a positive integer for the most part. So we know that inside the if statement, it's gonna be fd equals open, which is one because the file exists and less than zero. Now what's happening here? So if this gets covered up parentheses, most people would think that fd just gets automatically set to one but that's not the case fd is going to be set to something else which is zero because if you do one less than zero that's false because that's that is true one is not less than zero and what's false represents in zero and ones zero is used to represent false so fd is actually being set to zero so now that we know that fd is zero if we go right here, we get this read function and then we see FD is equal to zero. And if you guys don't know what FD stands for, it's FD is file descriptor, file descriptor. And file descriptor is a, is a way we handle our input and output resource. So file descriptors in C. File descriptors in C. So if we just look at this, file descriptors. So if we look at this, it's using standard IO standard right here and then if we see that the file descriptor is zero that means it's reading from standard in and if you guys don't know what mini reading from standard in that means it's taking in user input so what we're doing right now is basically reading in we're reading user input inside poem buff so our poem buff is being we're setting our poem buff that's basically what's happening and then later on, we have another scanf, which is also, if you guys don't know what scanf does, it's basically also taking user input and setting it inside poem buff too. And the whole point of this challenge is to compare both poem, poem buff and poem buff two, 
And if they're equal to each other, that means the password is okay and it prints out the flag. The only catch is that poem of two before, after, after we input whatever we want inside poem of two, it gets Zord. So you can think of it as Zord like it's being encrypted with something. And then right here it says right here for it goes through the entire poem of two and it zords it with a key and that key is one. And if you guys don't know how Zor encryption works, encryption, I'll give you guys like a quick run through. But this is encryption. So Zor encryption. Basically, how Zor encryption works is that when you have a plain text, in our case, the plain text is gonna be a poem of two. Poem of two is passed. Let's say poem of two is this value. And our key, right here they have it set as one, one, zero, but like our key is only set to one value, which is one. If, oh, oh wait, we can just do it like that. One, 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 one. So we see right here. So our plain text, now can we change to so like, oh no, it's only zero, okay. So, anyway. Our plain text let's just say this is what we put in our plain text and then we put in this key and this is the zor this is zor encryption wait can we change this no we got it. okay um so let's say this is our, our our plain text now our plain text is all this and this is our key if we zor something with one or like with any value all it's gonna do zor process but how this works for the most part is that if zero and one are different, it just changes that value. It just keeps the one. And if zero and one are different, it keeps one. One, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one, one. But the cool thing is, keep in mind, uh, I'll just snip this so you guys could. Oh, wait, I'll just, oh, yeah, I'll just snip it. The cool thing about Zor encryption is that you I just snip this value I just put this right here now let's change this this top value with one one zero zero one one zero one and if you see right here so what we did, what I did right now, the cipher text that we got, I just flipped it around from the other side. And if we pass in our cipher text with the key, we get the original plain text, which is that. So in our case, pass poem of two is our plain text, but it's being passed, being zored by one, which is giving us a cipher text. And then right here, poem buff is being compared by the cipher text. So what we need to do is get our cipher text, which is what I did right here. Or let's go back to our snip. Our cipher text, which is this, and put it as our plain text. And then once it gets Zord, we will get the original plain text. If that's making sense. So I'll I'll show this in the code for the most part. So I'll just open up a C interpreter. C compiler. And we'll just do this real quick. Hopefully I could speed run this. So we have this for the most part. So what I'll do is just um, copy this right here. Zor. And then I'll just do something like uh, copy this. Uh, yeah, this should work. Pwn buff, pwn length is just 10. Our Zor key is just one. Then we'll just do another one. We'll just pass in because it's basically what we're doing right now. I'll just take off two. Take off that. And print F. Uh, percentage s and then pwn buff pwn buff i'll just do 
slash new line to make a new line. Then we'll just do input password. You're going to input palm buff two. Print F. Then we'll just do percentage. Percentage S. Uh, and I'll just do before the Zor. And then we'll just do home buff two and then I'll just put a new line to make it look nice and then we just put colon right here I might get something wrong usually with C code you usually get stuff wrong but and then we'll do after after the soar and then we just zor it again after the second sword so let's try this so run and we got an error uh oh i think just because pw oh, take this off hopefully this takes off oh my god c plus plus errors let's see uh vor zor zor unexpected unqualifier wait what does that mean Zor a PW one okay um expected primary expect oh is this C plus plus that's why oh let's see oh C compiler if I go and see online compiler and just paste this just right here, my bad. See, uh, and then uh, what's the thing? Standard in, yeah, it's this. Run. Okay, so input our password, which we get this option because of the whole, uh, the president thing. So input our password. So, so let's see. Uh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is our password. It's this password one. P P one. Yeah, P W buff. The uh, the poem buff for the first one. Now we put in our second one. So this is poem buff two. So we'll do A. Cause like we are assuming that this is what's happening. But that's not the case. So this is what originally it is poem buff. So if you go compare right here, so what's happening right now in input password, input password two. So we're inputting a, which is this, and then scan f. That's being scanned inside this poem buff two. So poem buff two at the moment is this, but then after that we zor it, which is what we do. Okay, yeah, we scan f it, then I print it out. Yeah, input it, and then you print it out. And then after that, before the Zor, and then after we Zor it. So this is after this happens, after this Zor happens, this is what it gets turned to a bunch of at symbols. And then after that, it does a string compare between poem buff and poem buff two. So it's comparing the at symbols to A's. And with Zor, and it did a Zor encryption. And the only way to get the original value back of all A's, and that's the cool thing about Zor, if you're able to, if, all you need to do is just basically zor whatever you zored after after this or just zor it again with the same key and you're able to retrieve it and that's what happened and in our case since we already know what's since we already know since we know that all these ampersand is equal to an a all we need to do is just insert this and a is get gets compared with this a which is pretty much cool all, all for this challenge so if you look at if you just type mistake and just run it it says do not brute for it. so let's just insert a 10 a so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten let me just wait for a bit because there's like a sleep we just wait okay now we input password so we know if we input all all this a or like if we input this 
it's gonna turn it to an ampersand but what we want to do is turn this ampersand into an a so all we need to do is just input 10 ampersand so that's what i'm gonna do right now so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then if we enter that it's gonna turn it to all a's and if it's and if this is this and then we compare this a with what we originally input for this one and then after that we should get it should print out password okay and then the flag so after i press enter we do get password okay along with the flag and after this i'll just copy the flag right here go to pwn tools paste it right here auth and i should get it that resolve this challenge and yeah you already authenticated this flag and yeah that was about it for this challenge this challenge was mostly learning about like uh the order of operations i guess in uh I guess in the uh, in C or like I guess in code in general, and also knowing I guess the trick behind Zoring stuff. Mm, yeah, that was about it for this challenge. Hope you guys learned something to say and peace.